everyone, welcome back to Music with Ryan. For today's little free, little mini lecture lesson, we are going to go over a quick cross-picking lesson, okay? Uh, it's kind of maybe an advanced beginner, a uh, little cross-picking pattern. Someone asked about, you know, hey, I want to see some more cross-picking. How do I get started? And uh, what's a good place to, you know, just introduce me to some things. Show me what's going on a little bit. So I'm going to do that, and um, it's, yeah. First, I want to show you two, uh, yeah, two different chord shapes, and I'm going to write down the right hand pattern. If you want to download the tabs for this and a diagram for the chord shapes, just uh, click the link over here. If you're not a member, if you're watching on YouTube, okay, click this link, sign up on my website, and it'll land you right on this lesson page. If uh, if you're already a free member, just click the link in the down there where it says download tabs, and you can have. Um, I'll have this all tabbed out, a little neater and stuff like that, and uh, yeah, free free download. So again. Um, if you haven't, if you're not a free member, go ahead and sign up. There's tons of free lessons at the site. I'm going to be adding more lessons like this a lot, okay? So i got a lot of things in mind. So cross picking. Um, one basic way I kind of show it is using a few uh, these two little chord shapes here. And this is a little mini F shape. I'll bring it in here. Might have to might focus on me a little bit. So I'm barring on the... Um, Third fret of the B and the E, okay, for my first finger, and then second finger on the fourth fret of the G, okay. And I'm just gonna play only those three strings. That's a G chord, okay. It's kind of like an F shape, and uh, just no third finger. So again, I can move this around A, B, C. Uh, yep, that's C. Okay, I can move that shape around. For now, we're gonna do it here, three, so four, three, three. And then the other shape I wanna do is this one. So fifth fret on the G with my second finger, fifth fret on the B with my third finger. And then over here, first finger on the third fret of the high E. Okay, and this is also movable. I can move this around. It's kind of out of this shape. Maybe you're familiar with like this, it's a C chord, it's a tough chord, chord for beginners, um, but it's kind of out of that really. So that's a C, five, five, three. And if I move it up two frets, it's a D. And those are the three chords we're gonna do for the little exercise, okay? So you can just get used to, if you didn't already know, the second finger be my guide guides me up to the fifth take me up here back down and then when I go down to the G I can just slide it down one fret and then bar okay so that are, are those <laughs> are the three shapes we're gonna use G C D and you can even strum those do some cross picking over top of those three strings and so the shape we're going to use or the pattern I should say it's going to be E B G it's got the tab I got the tab here four three three four and two and three and four and okay and these are just eighth notes okay and that's a G chord all right some of it might be a little tricky to see but I think it looks decent and again too when we do cross picking What's obviously really difficult is the right hand. And as you see, we kind of cross string here. We skip the B string. This is kind of a backwards roll a little bit. Um, you might refer to it or someone might refer to it as a backwards roll. But uh, so the right hand is tricky and we want to do picking alternate. Or I like to do, some people like to do 
like a down, down, up, down, down, up, or up, up, down, or something like that, which is really cool. But I like to do alternate for everyone. There's a couple different, you know, depending on the teacher, the player, theories about it. But uh, this is still, you know, they would still know how to do this. Most people would usually have a couple different ways. And again, this is just one of many patterns. One of many patterns. So you really want to watch your, um, your, your strokes. And so I'm going to do it like this. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay? And it'll look a little better if you download the tab too. But that's what's going on. So, and that's just the G. Nothing's going to change in the right hand when we go to the C and the D. So back up here and see if you can try to play it. G string, high E, B string, G string, high E, B, G, high E. Okay. And these are, of course, tabs. I know I didn't mention this, but most people understand that this is tab. And most people know how to read tab. And if you don't, it's going to be confusing. The high E is up here. The low E is down there, OK? So I do have a lesson on how to read tabs, too. But um, do that again. G, E, B, G. E, B, G, E. And it's all about the right hand, OK? Don't, you can even do it without the left hand down. You can just, oh, I did it wrong. Just making sure you have the right directions and the right strings. And this will really fine tune your right hand. Um, you'll start to notice a big change in your tone. And just, uh, just lots of improvements in the right hand because you, you're focusing so hard on it. So again, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So you're alternating here, but you're skipping some strings sometimes. Thus, cross picking. Oops. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and. And when I first, if you're first starting cross picking, I cannot emphasize enough to practice slowly until it's perfect. So you can do it perfectly several times in a row at a slow tempo. There might be other ways to achieve it. I haven't found any. But you must practice slowly. It's so right hand intensive and especially to build any type of speed. I mean, maybe you can get by doing it slowly, um, you know, but if you want to build that speed, you have to play it perfect, you know, a bunch of times in a row, and then slowly build that speed, set that metronome. And that's the way I learned how to cross pick. And it was a headache for a while about what string, where was I, was I down, was I and up. It takes some work, you know what I mean? These things just don't come, you know, let alone how do I use this? Because people want to know, how do I use this in a song? Well, there's plenty of ways to use it, but first, we got to have the technique down, okay? And that's what this lesson's all about, okay? We want some more in-depth things. Again, if we, you know, if members comment on the lesson page, ask questions, start a conversation. Um, if I get a lot of interest, I'll make another follow-up about how to use it more in-depth, okay? And more in-depth conversations are probably going to be saved for premier members too and live Q&As that I'm hoping to get going. So anyway, this is kind of what this lesson's about, getting started. So... I go to C. Nothing changes in the right hand. Then I go to D. And back to G. Let me get a little close up of my right hand.
right. So that's a great one. I use that one all the time. And um, I mean, th that could just be, and you can mix it and match those chords. You know, I did a half measure on a couple of those. But you can just go back and forth between those two chords, or three chords, kind of any way you want. Again, landing on G, making G the end, so to speak, so you resolve. But, um, so yeah, there it was. There's a pattern, kind of a backwards roll. Um, you want to download the tabs and those shapes, so if you, can have, you can see the shapes a little bigger. Um, you know, click the, link in the, click the link down there to download that stuff. Sign up if you're already on a free member, okay? I'm going to be putting out lots more of these videos, these mini lectures for my free members at the site, okay? So sign up. Um, and again, more interest, more conversation. I'll do more lessons about it. And we'll do, you know, this is one of many patterns. A lot of people, when they cross pick, they just blend patterns together, all right? Depending on the melody and stuff. That's advanced. But uh, kind of learning one pattern at first. Or again, this is kind of maybe an advanced beginner or intermediate pattern. Maybe you know one pattern, so be a great one, another great one to have in your pocket. Okay, so I'm gonna do it one more time. So I'll get so you can see my right hand because that's the most important. Three and four and. that up to speed takes practice. Ah. Okay, and I was even a little sloppy there. I'm standing up, not used to that a little bit. And you got to be warmed up, you know, you got to be really, really going to play those cross picking things fast, but they sound cool. I use it a lot when I can and things don't get crazy out of speed. So Anyway, that's the lesson. Thanks for watching. Again, if you want more, sign up for my free membership and check out all the free lessons. Uh, until next time, I'll see you later.